the preparation of the mold is simply to get it ready for the bronze. The bronze is melted separately. The bronze taken to around 1,200 degrees and poured into that cavity. The thing people imagine is that the bronze now has to cool for days afterwards, but actually that bit is not true. You can take the bronze out more or less immediately after it's poured. The bronze freezes really quickly. In general, you have work to do to it afterwards in order to thread out little bits underneath so that you can bolt it down onto its base. Bronze, strangely, was not the first material I, I fell for. It was wood carving, and carving was the, was the thing I was most involved in in my college days. But I was good at bronze casting from the age of 16 when I did the first one. And I'd be most unusual in that um, I cast my own bronzes, that people would normally send them away to, to a foundry. I love the versatility of bronze from the point of view that you're actually not working bronze in general, you're working wax or plaster or clay or you can work in any material and then you can turn it to bronze at the end and you get this incredible strength which comes with bronze. It comes out as sort of browny black colour when it, wherever you work on it, it will take on the traditional sort of shiny bronze look. But then, particularly for a sculpture which is going to be outside, it makes more sense to show the thing the way it might look in the future. And bronze outside us will eventually, it aspires towards a green colour. And so I will tend to go for giving a bit of a green patina to it afterwards. I suppose the next uh, part of the process now uh, is to present the ideas to the, the people of Cleveland. And I suppose whichever sculpture of the two they might choose to go with, if they do, I'd be equally interested in doing either of them.